Okay, HVNV M6 1232SA keyboard replacement tutorial. Okay, so I've got my laptop here, keyboard's not working, so I'm going to replace that now. So we'll start by removing the battery. Okay, now you've got a screw right in the middle of this large L shaped plate in the back here. Okay, so you just want to pop that one out. Okay, it is a spring loaded screw so make sure that when you remove it you take the spring with it okay as you can see okay pop that safely to one side okay now to remove the l-shaped plate it's only the single screw holding it on but it still won't budge okay so you need to pull across the battery release button which will release the l plate and then you can remove that okay once this area is exposed, if you look down by the RAM, you've got two screws, one here and one here, okay, which both have a keyboard symbol next to them, okay? Undo both of those. Don't worry about them coming out. Just undo them and they will sit in there. Like so. And then flip the laptop over, open it up. And now, around the keyboard, there is a slight, slight gap just above the keys there, or all the way around, in fact. If you can get your fingernail or something like a, a card or something like that underneath, and just give it a gentle bit of persuasion, it will start to unclip. Okay, work your way along until you've unclipped the top, and then the bottom just slides out. Okay, like so. Now, the only way this is held in is with the ribbon cable. So with the ribbon, there's a little black slider. You literally just lift that up and then pop the ribbon out. And that is the keyboard removed. Okay. Okay, next step is fitting the new keyboard. Okay, so basically reverse the process. So you've got your, your new keyboard here. I picked mine up off an off a auction site online. Um, only cost me 12 pounds. And well, hopefully it'll work. We'll find out shortly. So, like I say, reverse the process. So you want to get the ribbon, you want to get that to sit in nicely where you took the last one from, and pop down the black clip, which holds it in place. Once you've done that, slide the bottom in, like so, and then just push all the way around the edges until it doesn't click in anymore. Okay, like so. Okay, looks good. I'll close the top down, flip it over, and then like I say, we'll reverse the process. So the two screws that are holding the keyboard in around the ramp, just tighten them back up again. Like so. Get your L cover, pop that back on, and then slide it into place, like so. And then get that spring-loaded screw that you took out earlier, and then we'll pop that one back in. Just put that in the hole there. And then do that. Okay. And then pop the battery back in. And there you have it. One keyboard replaced. Thank you for watching.